Its name was Voyager 1. And though it was never meant to last, it has defied every expectation. Half a century later, it still moves, alone, silent, watching. But now, something impossible has happened. Something that no one, no scientist, no skeptic, no dreamer, ever saw coming. Voyager has spoken again. And what it sent back could change everything we thought we knew about the universe. This isn't just another data anomaly. It's not a blip or a glitch. It's structured. It's persistent. And according to engineers monitoring it, it should not exist. For months, Voyager had gone quiet. Its signals became scrambled, broken, meaningless. NASA feared the worst, an end written in cosmic static. But then, against all odds, it returned a whisper. A signal born from forgotten code, stitched together with software older than the Internet itself. That alone was a miracle. But buried in the data was something stranger. Not noise. Not interference. A rhythm. A pulse. Like a heartbeat. But not Voyager's. Something near it. At first, scientists thought it was cosmic interference. Random static from a drifting probe. But the signal had form. Repetition. Order. It was information. And it wasn't bouncing off anything, it was coming from beyond the heliopause. Since 2012, Voyager has been adrift in interstellar space. No longer under the sun's protection. Floating in the cold ocean between stars. But this new transmission didn't match any known model. The plasma wasn't chaotic. It moved in waves, rising, falling, pausing, rising again. Each surge coincided with Voyager's own broadcasts. As if something out there was responding. Not with words, but with movement, with energy, with space itself. Then came the truly unsettling part. The waves weren't just echoing Voyager. They were tracing its path. Voyager wasn't alone. It was being followed. Or worse, guided. NASA went back through the archives. And suddenly, the past came alive. Tiny anomalies that had been dismissed for years, shifts in magnetic fields. Subtle changes in signal strength. All occurring at precise, regular intervals. Together, they formed a line. A path. As if Voyager were a bead, moving along a string. And then, on the exact anniversary of its launch, a signal spike. Faint, nearly lost to the noise. But when run through advanced filters, something emerged. A frequency drop off. Mathematical. Clean. Like a countdown. Or an echo. This wasn't nature. It was intention. Something out there was marking Voyager's journey. Keeping time with it. Observing. Measuring. And then, the discovery that left even the skeptics in stunned silence. A background harmonic. One that never changed, even when Voyager's main signal did. Buried deep beneath the carrier frequency. Hidden. But constant. When isolated and visualized, it formed a shape. A spiral. Not random. A perfect Fibonacci spiral. The same pattern found in galaxies, hurricanes, shells, and seeds. The same pattern etched into Voyager's golden record. It wasn't just a spiral. It was a mirror. A reflection. A map. And for the first time, scientists considered a terrifying idea. This was a reply. Independent teams ran tests. Simulated the waveform. Flipped it across its axis. And what emerged was beyond coincidence. The inverted pattern matched a calibration burst Voyager had sent 38 years earlier. A forgotten signal. Long dismissed. Now returned, perfectly. As if something had caught it. Held it. Remembered it. This was no longer about plasma or magnetism. It was about memory. Something out there re and responded. Then, on June 5, 2025, 
Voyager fell silent again. No signal. No pulse. Nothing. Not 12. Not 13. Exactly 1201. Precision like that doesn't happen in analog systems. It's deliberate. During the blackout, something else occurred. Radio telescopes on three continents picked up ultra-low frequency pulses. Not from Voyager's known location. But from 2.7 degrees off its axis. The vector didn't point deeper into space. It pointed slightly inward. Back toward the sun. As if the signal was being relayed. Or observed. The pulses were too brief for traditional data. But when slowed down and converted into sound, they resembled a heartbeat. And this time, it was ours. As decoding progressed, a CERN researcher took all of Voyager's recent data, compressed it, and ran it through a quantum decryption algorithm. What she found stunned the entire scientific community. Buried in the noise, symbols. Glyphs. Mathematical. Geometrical. Following rules. Repetition. Symmetry. They resembled ancient carvings found in Paleolithic caves. Symbols believed to represent stars and cosmic alignments. Now reappearing, not on stone walls, but in a signal from the edge of deep space. This wasn't a discovery. This was a return. And then came the final clue. An international team used Voyager's data to reanalyze faint energy readings recorded years earlier by the James Webb Space Telescope. Previously dismissed as random gamma spikes. But when overlaid with Voyager's new trajectory, a single point emerged. A fixed coordinate in space. No star. No planet. No mass signature. Just a presence. Moving. Watching. Now called the Watcher Point, this region emits tiny bursts of radiation at precise intervals. As if waiting. As if counting. As if watching this approach. This wasn't just space. It was a field. An awareness. An encounter point. Voyager, we now believe, was not wandering. It was being led. Toward something. Toward someone. And if this is true, then we must confront a new truth. We didn't just launch Voyager into the unknown. We answered a call. A call we didn't know was ever made. What we thought was a lonely probe, was a signal. And what we thought was silence, was language. A language of symmetry. Of geometry. Of frequency. Of time. And maybe, Voyager didn't find a mystery. Maybe it was summoned. And now that the echoes follow our heartbeat, now that the spiral matches our map, now that the silence speaks in patterns, we must ask the question no one ever wanted to ask. Did something know we were coming? And more disturbingly, is it finally ready to answer? Before Voyager, we looked up at the stars and saw only silence. A silence so deep, it drowned our questions. So we whispered back, with metal and code. Not to conquer the cosmos, but to be heard. We crafted a message, etched it into gold, and launched it aboard a fragile spacecraft built with the dreams of a thousand minds. It carried no weapons, no defenses. Only music, art, and greetings in dozens of human tongues, an invitation to anyone, or anything, listening. It was never meant to come back. Not in sound. Not in signal. Not in memory. It was a one-way voyage, into the dark. And for decades, it drifted, through the edge of the solar winds, past the magnetic veil of our star, into the space between stars, where even light forgets to echo. Scientists said it would fade. A noble gesture lost to time. But they were wrong. Because something, listened. Something ancient. Something patient.